Now, the resurrection. If you guys remember from, I don't know, not too long ago, we've, uh, we've done this one. We did this about a month ago, maybe six weeks ago. Now we're starting to filter through these again. Okay, so today, the resurrection part two. What it is, is a three round workout. Your goal is to get through all three rounds. You'll have 30 minutes to do it, all right? And you've got, it goes like this. This first row is obviously the first round, second round, and third round. It le reads like that the whole way. So every time you go into the next round, you're gonna go down in reps or laps or whatever. So it starts off with the lap around the building. So two laps in the first round, then you have 65 get-ups, 10 wall balls, 10 bar transitions, 10 juggle gym turbo push-ups, 10 box jump burpees, we'll show you those, and then 10 BOSU ball dumbbell thrusters. So you got a lot of work to do, all right? The get-ups, all right, these are basically half burpees, what they look like. Hands down on the ground, you just sprawl back, sprawl up, flat-footed, take your hands off the ground. That's all you do. That's two, three, just like that. All right, so you've got 65 of those when you get in the door from the second round. Just to modify, guys, if your legs are really hurting, we need to modify, you're going to step back. Up, and then remember to switch legs and you step up. Yeah, if you've never done it, just start with that and you'll get faster and faster and then it'll just make sense. You'll start doing the sprawl, okay? Uh, wall balls, with the wall balls, we go over this all the time. But as low as we can get, butt lower than the knee line, hands up, nice and tight. Elbows in, and we're just gonna come right up at the target. Explode up, catch it, come back down, full squat, same thing, all right? So you're gonna have 10 of those. Bar transitions, all right. This is a mix of everything, guys. This is all our bar movements and functional movements we've been doing for a while, mixed into one. So you're gonna deadlift the bar. Feet inside the shoulders, inside the hips, nice and good stance. Right here, hands go down outside the knees. All right, my back's straight. I'm gonna get those shoulders back. Everything's gonna rise at the same time, pop the hips. There's our deadlift. Okay, then we're gonna clean it up to the rack position right here. We're gonna press overhead, drop down to our shoulders, and then we have the back squat. Nice and low. From here, I can press it over my head, but what you're probably gonna wanna do is come down and as you come up, Explode it over your head. Bring it back down. From here, you can drop it. All right? What is one? How do you... That entire movement is one. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I'll do it one more time. The deadlift up, the clean to the shoulders, the press back to the back shoulders, the back squat up, and then back to the front drop. Or if it's light enough, you can go down and tap, come back up, okay? No dropping on these worms, guys, because there's no weights, obviously. Okay, jungle gym turbo push-ups. You want to knock those out? All right, guys, so on this, your safety zone is always going to be on your knees, okay? So, number one, never, 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 never arch your back. Keep your back straight. You can't see me come up closely. You're going to turn around, put your right foot in, turn around, put your left foot in, okay? So your safety zone is always on your knees right here. So let's go over the modification first. You're gonna go into a push-up, chest goes to four, you come back up, you drive one knee up, and the other knee up, and then you do another push-up, then you reverse directions, and that will be your modification. The exercise, bring your butt up, stabilize your core, touch, and drive. Guys, so two things here, look at this. One, full range of motion, he's got long legs. Those knees are coming all the way up to the chest. That's how we're really working the abdominals. Then you'll see his butt. It's always a little bit higher than that hip line. He's got those nice engaged hips, loaded hips we call it sometimes. We don't want to get arch in our back. Show him an arch. That, no, no good, no bueno. We don't want that. All right, so you got to try not to arch your back when you're doing this. What's the next one? Oh yeah, box jump burpees. All right. I'm going to show you real quick. Okay. Guys, on this one, because of the row, how it is, you're jumping back to burpees. You're going to jump on, okay, jump on the box. Nice control. You jump off the box. You go to your burpee. Okay, you do that again. If you need to modify it, remember, big step up, okay, step back down, switch your legs, then step off the box. Then go to your modified burpee. All right, and remember guys, with the different size boxes, you know what box you use probably by now, I'm sure. But 
Uh, with these, you're going to add in a burpee, so remember that. When you're going to a box, maybe not the same, not as high a box as you're normally used to using. Go ahead. On the modified step up, um, you step up on, on each leg before the burpee? Yes, or? yes. Alternate both legs. One, then switch. Two, perfect, and then you'll go down. Absolutely, good question. Good question. Okay, so the only one left is the BOSU dumbbell squat thrusters. So I'll go down here. All right, guys, with these, number one thing you want to do is keep those elbows in nice and tight, the shoulders back, because you're going to be supporting this load. It's going to be right here in front of your body, up in front of your shoulders. Okay, so when you're down here, you're going to get your balance, step on, lock those quads, lock, lock the hamstrings, good, solid squat, keep everything nice and tight, explode up, press, back down. Hard to keep your balance. This is the hard part. All right? Remember, you've got all the way down 10 pounds, down to 35 pounds. So you can really challenge yourself today on these. But work your way down the progression. Work your way down, start maybe with the eight pounds, work your way to 10, all right? All right, guys, the last thing is on the whistle to break up the monotony of the workout, because it's a tough one, you're gonna do the secret handshake. Okay, so you two are gonna partner. Let's go do two right now, you two right now, you two right now. You're gonna practice it right now. You might be with somebody else. So when you hear this, you stop. Then you do your two burpees. So you do your partner burpees all the way down. High five, and do that again twice. Okay, so I'm gonna blow a whistle. You guys try it out real quick. Ready, three, two, one, go. <laughs> All right, good job, guys. All right, guys, so we have a 30 minute cap. All right, remember with the whistle, secret handshake. Every time you hear it, you gotta find somebody. Find somebody you knew, learn somebody's name here today. All right, so you got, oh, we're right on time. You got 30 minutes. We're done in exactly 30 minutes. We're at 9.14. Let's get started. You guys can start 